Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and today I'm back with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video, and today's video is going to be a pretty interesting topic that we're going to be talking about, so if you guys will enjoy this video, if you guys can, I'm looking for some feedback on this thing, so if you guys could leave a rating when you guys are done watching, I would appreciate that. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and also for my COD Point giveaway, it's actually over now that I did about a week or a week and a half ago, and the winner was a guy by the name of Zach G, so if your name is Zach G, check your email, and uh, we'll get you the prize right away. So that was it for the giveaway. It went pretty well. Well, um, I'm sure that I'll be doing some more giveaways in the future with my buddy So if you didn't win don't worry about it and let's get right into today's video So basically what today's video is going to be about is about weapon skins in black ops 3 Now this is something that came up a while ago and basically on this article from a guy who claimed to be an insider Who had a lot of in inside information some of it came out to be true about the DLC weapons He said this on his post on reddit. He said weapon skins Kuda with an MP5 skin, KN44 with an AK47 skin. The plan was to have these as variants accessible through the gunsmith system. But with the success of COD points, don't be shocked when these inevitably become separate weapons entirely. So he said they already had the ideas for the MP5 and the AK-47 in Black Ops 3. And he said the original idea was basically to make these a skin. Now, what is a skin? Uh, the difference between a skin and a gun, uh, like uh, this difference between a skin and the actual DLC weapon is the skin doesn't change the stats. So obviously on a DLC weapon such as the FFAR, that gun has different stats than the Man of War. When, however, if the FFAR was just a skin for the Man of War, it would just change the look of the gun, but not the stats in all. And this basically fixes a lot of the supply drop system problems because a lot of people are complaining there's new guns in the game with different stats like the Marshall 16 is a very good gun but you have to pay money real life money to get that gun whether if it was just a skin for another pistol no one would really care because it was just a cosmetic item like Black Ops 3 and Treyarch promised us at the beginning so I was looking at this and I think yeah CUDA for MP5 KN44 with AK47 those sound like great ideas for the skin the only issue that I could see with the skin and we really need this like this would fix so much of the supply supply drop system um, issues even if they kept in obviously they can't delete the DLC guns that we've already got so leave those ones in and start throwing these weapon skins in it would be insanely cool uh, cool like especially if some of the weapons were nostalgic like the mp5 and ak-47 so I looked through the only like the only issue with with this would be if the skins had a different iron sight you could you could say um, it was giving someone an advantage and I know people roast me for the way I say iron but I guess that's just the way Canadians say it or maybe I'm just an idiot that's the way I say iron but if you guys you know what I'm talking about right the default site for different guns if that was changed like if the AK-47 had a different one than the KN-44 that could be an issue but I'm sure they could work it so it had the exact same iron sight and there would be no issues with that and basically I was looking through the list of the guns on Black Ops 3 and I was thinking what could be done here obviously the CUDA would be an MP5 the VMP could have some sort of skin like an MSMC you know there's definitely ways that with their design team they could work around this the Weevil obviously looks a lot like the P90 that could definitely be done as a skin pretty easily um, now if we look at the assault rifles there's quite a few you could do here obviously the KN44 can be the AK47 the HVK30 kind of looks like an Enfield from Black Ops 1 the ICR could have some sort of M27 skin um, there's so many things they could do here Shiva could obviously have an FAL skin there's so many different things they could do with these weapon skins and throw them into supply drops um, with the shotguns the KRM could definitely have an R870 skin from Black Ops too that would be absolutely sick the haymaker could have an aa12 skin the argus could have a spaz 12 skin i mean just think about the options that they have here i think they're really missing out by not doing this um, for sniper rifles they could obviously have so many skins for the sniper rifles the dragons basically like the dragon off the locust could have like an intervention skin while you know different things like the svg has a barrett skin you know different things they could work around would be absolutely crazy for this game i don't know exactly how much they could do but I think these weapon skins would be absolutely awesome to see in Black Ops 3. And I want to know in the comment section down below, which of these weapon skins would you like to see? You know, what gun would you like to see uh, like from the past on what gun in the future of Black Ops 3? Um, because you guys know, they, they're really missing out. By doing this weapon skin, no one can complain. This is similar to what they do in different games like uh, League of Legends, Overwatch, the new game that just came out. It's just a skin. You're not going to complain if someone looks different from you because they're not going to have any sort of advantage advantage by having that skin 
And now the good thing about this is obviously anyone who's played Call of Duty games knows that the P90 is a freaking sick gun and they love the P90. So if that was for the Weevil, people would spend their hard earned money on these supply drops. They'd be making probably even more than they are. Cause right now that I think like personally, the black market is pretty dead. You know, you can get weapons out of your supply drop bribes or it's really not worth wasting your money on a chance of these weapons. This would revitalize the black market. People will be spending their money and not really anyone could be complaining because it's just a skin. You know, it doesn't give any sort of advantage. Now, obviously, this could be something we see in Black Ops 3 in the future or in the future of Call of Duty because this definitely is a way to combat the supply drop problem because right now, you know, um, it's just weapons and you got to gamble for them. It's kind of ridiculous. But this is from Guy who said he obviously he's an insider at Treyarch. He claims to be and he had some good other information on this article. I think he predicted two of the DLC weapons and he also told everything about David Vonderhaar, how he didn't like the supply drops and now, uh, obviously, David Von Der Haar is liking the supply drop bribes and stuff. That was sort of his idea. I made a few videos on that. Anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. I want you guys, I literally want you guys to think of anything. Like, if you want to comment, say, this pistol should be this pistol or this sniper should be that sniper. I want to see all you guys' ideas for weapon skins. That's sort of the idea of this video. So I want to see all your guys' ideas down in the comment section down below. So drop those down. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for Cookie and Don't Looky, and I'm out. Peace. Have a great night, guys.